Let me put the cat basically behind me. Look at her. She's just gonna, we'll sit her right there. Hi everyone, it's Gabby, and today we are doing a fun little cosplay unboxing. I have not done one of these in a while. Literally probably last time I did like a cosplay unboxing slash review were for my two Nozomi cosplays and that's a long time ago. Like I think those videos are both like around three or four years old. To start off some reviews, we are going to be unboxing and reviewing Doki Doki cosplay. I've never ordered from them before, but I thought I would try out a new store and see what I think. Fun fact, when I got this cosplay in the mail, I thought it was my huge Biner order. If you don't know what Biner is, Biner is like a Taobao shipping service. We'll talk all about that when it gets here. But because I normally shop through Taobao and Biner specifically, I thought I would try Doki Doki out because I've heard good things. And yeah, I don't know if you can tell who's in the bag and by who I mean what, but if you don't follow me over on Instagram, shameless plug, wow Gabby, um, I've been talking about how much I love the anime Rent-A-Girlfriend. I watched it all in a day. Um, I don't do that with anime, <laughs> ever, and I love the main character, Chizuru. I'll insert a photo of her here in case you have no idea who I'm talking about. But I got the Doki Doki cosplay Chizuru wig and the outfit, and we're gonna go through them and talk about it. And yeah, I think this will be, that's what today's video is going to be. Also, I love when they send stuff in these like Ziploc-y type bags. It's great. It makes my life easier. Also, it's great for storage. What do we want to start with? Let's start with the wig. So here's the wig. I'm going to also insert the stock image photos that they use so we can kind of do like a comparison of if it looks like the stock photos or not. And I like when wigs come with these things, even though I don't really understand what they're for. Like, what are these cardboard things for, for your wigs? Comment below. But I love Cheeseru's hair. Her hair is, oh, this is a heavy one. This is a heavy, heavy baby. So obviously it comes with the netting, like so. We're gonna peel that away and check her out. I'm not going to put it on right now because I spent too long doing my hair. I know it doesn't look like it, but I did. All right. Oh, the, oh my God. I was like, what is this thing attacking me? It's the braid clip in with her little like sprout. I'm not the best at these. I'm not going to lie. I usually have to have my friends help me get them in my head, but I'll figure it out. I'm gonna keep getting it stuck in the wig and I feel like everyone in the comments is gonna be like, Gabby, you're destroying that wig. We'll put that right there. Okay. She feels very soft. She does have, I'm gonna show you close. She does have a good skin part right there, which I love when wigs have this, especially for ones with bangs. It's a little frizzy, I'm not gonna lie, but it feels very soft. The ombre looks really nice. It starts, let me, let me get this back. So it starts at like the base of the wig and then kind of fades into the brown, which I think looks really nice. It does feel soft. The cap is a good size. Definitely a good size cap as well. It does feel soft, just a little frizzy, but nothing that like a little brushing kind of fix. But it does feel nice. Like in terms of like thickness, this feels good, in my opinion. I think this feels very nice and thick for a long wig, because I am always scared of long wigs. Even though I hate short wigs, I'm always scared of long wigs. Great, wait, let me wrap this up and then we'll look at the little braid. So here's the braid. The only thing I'm gonna say is I'm definitely gonna have to like gel this part or style it a little more because it's kind of fraying a bit. And here are the combs for clipping it into the base wig. And I like that because then you can do different styles with it because she does have different hairstyles, but I wanted to make sure I got the braid because that's kind of like the signature look. 
But it feels good, definitely matches the color. I don't like though that they packaged the braid like in with the wig and not in like a separate little baggie. Just cause like it could have ruined the wig. <laughs> like these combs, I've like almost destroyed my Mari wig before with the little braid combs, so. That's my opinion. So the wig is $11 USD, and I do think it's worth it. It definitely feels really nice for an $11 wig. I do like it. I do really like it. And now we're going to get on to the cosplay. And yes, Chizuru has a bunch of outfits from the anime. I went with this one in particular because it was just a very Gabby outfit. I'm not going to lie. It looks like something I would wear normally, so... Maybe I got this cosplay so I could wear the outfit normally too. Who knows? But yeah, it's in the bag here. Let's start with. I got this in a Asian medium, which is typically what I get. I usually get an Asian medium or an Asian large. Really depends on the store because some stores have very weird size charts. But here is the top. With a little sailor collar. As I'm like holding this up though, I can tell that this top is see-through through my camera, so we'll see, actually no, like if I, it's a little see-through, but here's the cute collar, and what I love, this is like my favorite detail about this freaking thing, look at the little sleeve bows, they're so cute, I really would wear this normally, this is very Gabby, this is Gabby in the springtime, and as I'm looking at it, the fabric kind of has like an iridescent sparkliness. I don't know if it's going to come up on camera, but I like that. I think that's fun. And so the other thing that's really good about it is it has elasticated, like a waistband at the bottom. Not a waistband, but so it kind of cinches you at the bottom. So it fits really nice. And it does have darting along the chest. So it should be very fitted. I'm very excited to try this on. See how well it fits. Um, yeah, I haven't actually tried this on yet. Um, another shameless plug for my Instagram. If you follow me there, I usually do like cosplay live streams where I will show you like me getting into cosplay and doing my makeup and we chit chat and it's a fun time. So if you follow me there, you will know when I try on Chizuru, which I'm very excited for. It did come with a little red ribbon in a separate baggie and we know that I like separate baggies. I don't think like you need a separate bag for the ribbon because like, nothing's gonna happen to it, but I appreciate it. And then here's my only slight concern is this white skirt. Now, it does have some elastication on the sides and a zipper down the back. My only thing is this fabric feels nice. It does feel very soft. I always just fear that with white it's going to be see-through, but that's always why I recommend wearing safety shorts under things. But other than that, I think this should fit fine. This looks very nice. It does need a little ironing though, but we'll do that. Or I can wear another white skirt with it. I have other white skirts, but I don't hate this one. I also just wish it had built-in shorts though. I don't know why cosplays don't have this, but like if you buy a skirt, like nine times out of ten it has built-in shorts. So why don't we sell cosplays with built-in shorts? I'm just saying. I think built-in shorts should be in everything. So I'm checking my phone. The cost for the cosplay itself is 25 USD, which I do think is very reasonable. I will say though that with shipping costs, my total did run about like I think my shipping that I got was like about $30 which I was fine with but I think this all was worth it again I won't know until I try everything on and I'm hoping that technically I might try it on before I post this video so I don't know if that whole live stream plug will be relevant at that point, but I'm hoping that I do try everything on some point soon, just because I have not had time to. But I would say overall, for my first order from Doki Doki Cosplay, the quality's nice. The pricing seems pretty reasonable. I do like how they package things. 
I do just wish that that little braid was in a separate bag, like how they put the bow in a separate bag for some reason. Also, the only other thing I'm a little concerned about, now that I'm thinking about it, the top itself doesn't have much stretch. So I, I have slight concerns of getting it on and not damaging it. Like I kind of wish it had a zipper somewhere. Cause I feel like, sorry if you can hear that car outside. I feel like a lot of cosplay tops have like a zipper somewhere just to make sure that it's easier to put on, but there's no zipper in this. So I would be a little concerned about getting it on and not ruining it, but I feel like as long as you're careful, you should be okay. But I will probably either insert at the end of this video, me trying it on or giving like a review of it when it's on because I feel like that's only fair to you because again, I've not actually tried it all on yet. So I won't have like a definitive final opinion until I try it all on. So. We will cut to future Gabby trying this on and telling you what she thinks of it because future Gabby's opinion on this matters. I don't understand how this braid is supposed to work. I thought it was supposed to be the little sticky outfit that she has on the side. No, 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 no. I looked on their freaking website and they have it like this with like this little ponytail in the back of her head. But also this braid is too like big for like the circumference of my head like if I put the braid in it like it's just it's too big I don't know I think I have like a kind of like a small small to average size head um, and the ponytail is too big maybe if I try putting it on like the wig and then putting the wig on maybe then I can get it to work but I put the wig on first and then tried to put the braid in and it's just too big and it sits really floppy and again it doesn't do the little the little side bit she has I'm gonna have to do that separately which I don't really like I also have not cut the bangs yet on this wig I don't feel like doing that today so we're not doing it today but let me talk about so the top as I expected is kind of hard to put on because there's no stretch it is a little tight in the upper arms for me and there's nothing you can do to adjust it because there's no elastic there but like I'll deal the top feels okay like it doesn't feel super great quality but it is very accurate it's the right color and the little ribbon and that's that so here's the skirt I don't have any way to like get taller to like show you the bottom it feels fine. I just wish it had safety shorts because I feel like it might be a little bit see-through. Also, these little bits are a little long. I have not styled the wig, okay? This is not a proper cosplay test. This is just a review. I'm gonna proper cosplay test on my Instagram, but this is just me trying it on and seeing what I think of it. I think it's okay. Have I bought better cosplays? Yes. Have I bought better cosplays like that are supposed to be like casual outfits? Yes. I don't know what I super think of the quality, to be quite honest. It just fits really oddly. Like it fits, but weirdly. And I don't know if that's like a good thing or not. I don't know if I really recommend the fit of this. Like maybe if I sized up it would be better, but then I feel like everything would be too long for me. So I don't know. I don't know. I'm really not sure. I'm also just really bothered by the fact of how they advertise the wig because they literally show the photo of her with the little like ponytail on the side and you would think that ponytail on the side would be able to do that in the wig and it doesn't so I'm just I don't think that's really great advertising that's not great advertising now I get to go put a little ponytail in my head before I ever wear this again so yeah let me know what you think do you think this looks worth it I don't know how messy the back of the wig is because I did not really put it on my head that well Okay, like we'll deal. But it's okay. Like I don't know if I super recommend it because I feel like it's just like mediocre quality. Like maybe like other things from their store are better quality. This just feels like now that I'm wearing it versus just like when I opened it out of the bag. Like this material, it's not itchy, but it's not super soft. The collar is nice because it's like a more stiff material. I wish the bottom of this had an elastic because again, it's a little tight. Also, every time I move my arms, it pulls the whole shirt up. So like, there's that. 
to be a little bit concerned about like i feel like if you had a longer torso than me and i have like a very short torso i feel like if you had a long torso this would fit so illy on you and that's like something i don't know how to tell you like every time i move the whole shirt tries to like rise up and i don't know what do you think let me know in the comments if you think this is like good granted i did not pay that much for it but it had really good reviews so that's why i'm confused like am i just being really picky or like did i get a bad like a faulty version of this i don't know do i really want to cosplay cheese or yes and that's why i'm like kind of a little disappointed with this because i was really excited to like cosplay texture but now i'm just like i have to like get additional things to restyle the wig and again this just fits really uncomfortable not uncomfortably, like it fits fine. It just doesn't feel like what I would want it to feel like for my grand total being around 60 bucks, including shipping. I don't know. Mm. I really don't know what to get this year. Like maybe if I, again, maybe I'll buy another cosplay from Doki Doki and see if I like the quality of that better and maybe this just not one of their like best represented representations of their quality I don't know but here's how it looks it's very cute I do love the style so much this is just very me I just don't like how like construct it's not well constructed again there should be a zipper in this top or something or more elastic I don't know it's just quite odd to me I don't know and the skirt there's like a tiny bit no I don't even if you're like my measurements I have a 27 waist and like there is like even with the tiny bit of elastic there's like the tiniest bit left of stretch like I would not go bigger like if you have larger measurements than me I would not get a medium because I don't think it would fit and again the whole torso thing is just weird I don't know Maybe like if I, when I can properly style the wig and like, I don't, I don't know. I'm just, I'm so hung up on this wig situation because it's just so weird to me that when a character has an iconic hairstyle, you would give us, where did I even put the braid? Where'd the braid go? When a character has an iconic hairstyle, why would you make the clip-in braid not it just doesn't make sense to me it just it seems like a waste because now it's like okay I can't even use the braid because it's too big for my head and there's no real way to make it smaller but what should I take the weft that is so crappily glued to the back of the braid and just glue it to the head like it's just so weird to me I don't know am I the only one complaining about this I feel bad because I feel like at the beginning of the video, I'm like super positive. I'm like, everything looks great. Everything feels great. I'm just worried about little things. But now I'm putting it on. I'm like, it's okay. It's not the best, but it's not the worst. Take with that what you will, I guess. I don't know. Like I said, though, I will properly cost test Chizuru probably over on my Instagram. I'll probably do a live stream just because I like doing live streams and like getting into cosplay while talking with y'all. So that will be that. But right now this is just me with like some anime girl makeup. You'll know why this is so exciting in like a week. But yeah, I think this is okay. I'd probably give it like a three out of five because like it needs improvement I'll say this it needs improvement there's basic structural things that should have been done and weren't done I think that's my main complaint is just structurally it's not sound and yes it's a cosplay someone's gonna be like Gabby you're complaining too much it's not like you're supposed to wear it out every day yes but if you're wearing this to a con whenever cons happen again and you raise your arms and then like you flash someone because you have a long torso then what are you gonna do? Like, that's just not, like, what, should you prepare with a jacket? No, you should be able to wear your cosplay as the cosplay. I love that I'm holding this in my hand like it's like some, like, prized animal. It's stupid. 
I don't know, I feel like there's just like slight things that could have been done to make this better. And I hope that either Doki Doki improves on this, or I might try getting the same outfit from a different seller and seeing if their quality is better. Is that something you'd want to see to like compare like the same exact outfit but like different sellers? I don't know. I just feel like this, it's okay. I feel like I've been rambling so much now about like how this is just kind of mediocre. But I think you get the point. I think y'all get the point. Maybe I'll try shopping from them again, but let me know in the comments if there's like a specific cosplay from them you think I should check out. Or like if you've bought from them personally and got like some amazing cosplay from them, let me know what it was because maybe I'll check that out. Because I think they're doing the KDA outfits. I was thinking of getting KDA Ari from them, but now in wearing this, I'm not sure. But again, let me know if maybe you think they're really good quality. I'll, I'll, I'm into looking. I'll, I'll check it out. But yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching this week's video. If you liked it, hit the thumbs up. And if you are new here, hit the subscribe button. It really means a lot to me. And next week, there's going to be a, a, a cosplay makeup tutorial for this look. So if you're wondering what products I used for this makeup, just just hit that subscribe button. Maybe even hit the notification bell, then you'll know when it's uploaded. Crazy, I know. Wow. Yay! <laughs> cosplay content on my channel! Crazy, I know! Yeah, I want to do more cosplay content. It's just been kind of hard because, like, there's no cons. And right now, because it's, like, almost winter, I can't really do location shoots. So... Literally, the only reason I would get into cosplay is to take selfies or film a video. So that's why I kind of need, like, if you have video ideas for, like, things I could do in cosplay besides, like, reviews and, like, unboxings. I'm going to still do that binder unboxing. My binder order has still not arrived, but there's going to be that at least coming up and some other fun videos. But yeah, I don't know what else to say here because I'm just ready to get this wig off my head. Thank you all again, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!